Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove the window and window regulator on a Honda S2000. I'm removing there so that I can fix a broken cable on the window regulator. Anyway, let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is remove the door panel. If you need help doing that, I've got videos that will be linked down below. Once the door panel is off, you'll see this plastic lining spread across the door. You don't strictly need to remove this, but I find it much easier to work on the door with this removed. In order to remove it, you'll need to remove the inner door handle, the rod crank, and a couple of plastic clips. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the three screws, securing the inner handle to the door. For the rod crank, pop the top clip to release the rear lock rod and pop the lower clip to release the front lock rod. Simply pull on the inner handle rod to pop it out of the center of the rod crank. The rod crank can be released by using some pliers to pinch the back side of the plastic clip, securing it to the door. Use a flathead and trim removal tool to remove the two clips, securing the plastic to the door. Lastly, Carefully peel the plastic cover off the door and use a flathead to release the plastic clip, securing the power window switch wiring harness to the door. The next thing you're going to need to do is remove the circular window stop from the window. If the window is not already in the lowest position, lower to the lowest position. You will need to plug in the power window connector from the door panel to do this. Then use a 10mm socket to carefully remove the bolt, securing the glass stop to the window glass. The exterior of the window will have a backing plate that you can keep together with the bolt. Another thing you'll need to do is loosen the window stabilizer. Use a sharpie and mark a line around the window stabilizer bolt so that you know where to reinstall the bolt. Then use a 12mm socket to loosen the bolt until the stabilizer can move. Move the stabilizer towards the interior of the door. Raise the window glass until you can see the three bolts securing the window to the window regulator. Use a sharpie to mark a line around these bolts so that you know where to reinstall them on the regulator. Then use a 12mm socket to remove the three bolts securing the window to the window regulator. Hold the window as you remove the last bolt. Once the last bolt is removed, tilt the window forwards and guide it upwards and out of the door. You'll need to ensure nothing binds against the window stabilizer or the window stops. With the window removed, you can focus on the window regulator. Disconnect the window regulator connector and use a set of pliers to release the window regulator wiring harness from the door. For the lower regulator mount, use a 10mm socket to remove the two upper bolts, securing the window regulator to the door. Then use a 12mm wrench and a 4mm allen key to carefully remove the two lock nuts, securing the window regulator to the door. For the top regulator mount, use a sharpie to mark a line around the two nuts, securing the window regulator to the door. Use a 12mm socket to remove the two nuts. The last thing securing the window regulator to the door will be three bolts. Use a 10mm socket to just loosen these bolts and slide the bolts through the larger holes. Reach inside the door and push the window regulator towards the exterior of the door and then pull down. This should unmount the window regulator and allow you to pull it out of the large opening in the door. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, if you're located in the Bay Area and looking to have some work done in your car, feel free to DM me on Instagram.